Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our 2011 Distinguished Business Leader Award recipient, Mr. Ed Roski. Thank you, Matt, for your friendship and kind introduction. And thank you to the Los Angeles Area Chamber for this award. Congratulations on another successful event. This is definitely one of the must-do events each year. I'm humbled and honored to receive this award, but first I want to offer my congratulations to those other honorees, Barry Sanders and the San Manuel Band of Indians. I have known most of you here tonight for lots of years. In fact, uh, since back when uh, Governor Brown was Governor Brown. <laughs> that was certainly an intro. That's what happens, Governor Brown, when your team tells you not to worry. They have an idea. We have such amazing and creative talent right here in Los Angeles. Did you notice how tall I looked? Magic, isn't it? I've always admired the innovative spirit that comes with diversity. Diversity is one of the key attributes that makes our region great. Tonight, we have business and labor leaders, our elected officials and agency heads all coming together. We all come from different perspectives, but because of our strong relationships, we continue working and celebrating together. From my perspective, the chamber is walking the walk. I love their unofficial slogan that this is not your grandfather's chamber. Tonight, this slogan could not be more true. Look around at the partnerships represented in this room. Thank you, Matt, for your leadership this past year, and Joe. All I can say is that we have all pledged to switch to bow ties if you can lead us to a single-digit unemployment. This past month, when I was reflecting on being recognized with the Distinguished Business Leader Award, I took a time out to think about what it means. Clearly, there is the goal to dominate your sector, perhaps a prerequisite. I believe that this honor is really about what you do outside your core responsibilities. Our company story represents the American dream. My father, with barely a high school education, decided not to return to Oklahoma after World War II. He believed that California represented the land of opportunity. Thanks to my father's keen mind, passionate heart, and lots of hard work, Majestic Realty is now more than 65 years old and my life's work. One important lesson I learned along the way was the need to give back to our communities. It's good for the heart, it's good for our city, it's good for business. I am proud of many things. I'm proud to be an Angelino. There's something about this place that inspires people to work hard, to create things that change the world. I'm proud of the diversity in this reception hall, and I'm honored and humbled to be surrounded by all of you your ideas, your talent, and drive. I'm proud and inspired by the beauty of our city and the imagination of its people. I've always thought of myself as a contrarian leader. My decisions are not always typical or expected. So I stand before you with a call to action. Let's take pride in our region and stand tall for what we do and for what we can do. 
Let us learn to listen, not just hear each other. Let us question the status quo all the time. This is a dynamic world. Let's always ask ourselves, what if? Let's capture the vast potential of Los Angeles. Let's encourage civic participation. It's a vital part of our democracy. Let's do all of this by collaborating. May we have the confidence to stand tall, to make a difference, and distinguish ourselves by distinguishing others. I thank you.